first of all, why is this expansion significant in particular? What are you trying to accomplish? Yeah, it's an exciting opportunity for us to bring cognitive computing and the power of Watson uh, to a very important region, uh, a region that's actually growing uh, at an exceptional pace. And cognitive computing is really all about a new way to compute a system that actually understands natural language, a system that has an insatiable appetite for information and can read and understand that data, and most importantly, a system that learns. And in the Middle East, we're going to be opening this up uh, to partners, to developers, to organizations to truly innovate on new ideas with cognitive computing. Now, there's so much curiosity around Watson as a business. Can you talk about how the project fits into IBM's broader business strategy? How much has IBM invested in Watson? How much has it generated in revenue? Well, you know, it's a, a great question. Our strategy has really been to proliferate the use of this new style of computing. Um, we started about 18 months ago with the formation of the business unit, at which time we really had one service in one geography. Uh, today we're present in, in over 26 industries in over 36 countries, and the announcement today with the Mabadla really builds on a strategy uh, that goes back to December when we announced a strategic partnership with SoftBank. And so we're really building out uh, a vision of how innovation takes form and how IBM as part of its strategy will bring more value to the marketplace. Do developers pay to use Watson in an app? Like what's, what's the business model and how does IBM make money off of it? Yeah, very, very innovative as well. We actually partner with the marketplace. It's a, a revenue share approach. So the way that we win is when they win. So as they're able to develop their application with our assistance support, it costs them nothing. Uh, it's only when they deploy and successfully commercialize that technology do we share? And in addition to technology, we of course bring them the IBM brand, the Watson capabilities, our marketing presence, an introduction uh, to new geographies and territories. Now, in the last year, we've heard some of the biggest names in tech talk about their fear of AI and artificial intelligence, like Elon Musk. You know, how do you respond to those kinds of fears? Well, really, um, what Watson is about is enhancing, scaling, and accelerating. Uh, personal expertise. It's about making you and I better uh, in our everyday lives and in our chosen vocation. So it's really not about the science fiction that we see in the movies. It's really about how we impart greater value and outcome uh, in our everyday existence. And lastly, you know, where have you found Watson to be the most successful so far? What industries? Quickly. Well, very quickly, in, in healthcare, it, it has made a demonstrable difference in the way that clinicians practice and deliver a quality of care uh, to the individual. But we've extended into financial services, into education, into retail, into travel, mining, manufacturing. As I said, we're in 26 different industries today, and it's becoming right. a pervasive style of our lives.